I always like to see failing tests, so let's see if this fails correctly, as expected. This saying we expected to fail, and this is what we got. So then we know that it is really making that assertion. We want to make sure that the flag is highlighted correctly. If we look here on the flag, is that we have this conditional class names here that we are conditionally applying the text red class. We get our wrapper. And our assertion, we know we want to assert that there is some class there. So we're going to find something there. We're going to find that button. And there's another method that's really useful has class text red. And we're going to expect that to equal true. This has class returns a boolean. And so what we're going to be looking for is really we're applying the class to the button itself. So we can see that there are multiple buttons here. So what we're going to do is make use of this API. We're going to find button. Again, just the string of the element there. And that's going to return a wrapper, which is going to be a collection because there's multiple buttons here. So we have an array of those essentially. And we're going to say at, this accepts the index. So we want to say the second button. Find the second button and assert that it has this class. And actually that failed because our message that we passed in was not flagged. So here we want to say here is a flagged message. And we just want to make sure that these tests are passing. We don't want to worry about the full structure of a message at this point. Message is flagged message. I'm going to run that again. Now we're equal to true. And let's assert the, the inverse of that. So we'll just paste this here for now and say unflagged message. And this is a message that is not flagged. We want to make sure that that comes out as false. Message is our unflagged message. We are blowing up here. And the reason for that is that we have declared a const multiple times. And so we can get around that actually. We don't need to store that for any reason here. So we'll say render this. This is going to return a wrapper and find the buttons within that. And then here, same thing, we'll take this and render it there. And now that we run this test, we're passing and we're asserting both cases that it's flagged and unflagged. We've looked at um, installing and, and doing some basic setup. We're using Shallow, the Shallow API from Airbnb's Enzyme library, the expect library for assertions. And we are just writing some basic unit tests for a React component.